So first, let's say file new, just a VCLC++ builder application. We'll put a button down. And that's, you know, simple VCL application for Windows. Now, if I want this to have the Metropolis UI style or the Windows 8 style, and, I and I've got an existing VCL application, I can convert it by just right mouse clicking inside of my form, uh, VCL form, and there's a menu item that has appeared in XE3 called Convert to Metropolis UI. And it warns you and says, hey, by the way, this can't be undone because it's going to change uh, your uh, your form file. And then you can choose a style that you want. So here's a Windows, uh, well, I like the, the green style, for example. And we'll make that uh, our default style. Here is the green style. You'll see any available styles, and you can select multiple ones and then choose between them. And I'll say OK. And now my application, the button is a little bigger. Uh, it uses the Sego font, this S E G O E. Uh, L-U-E font, which is the default font for, for Windows. And then if I run this application, or compile it and run the C++ application, I'll have a, a simple Metropolis-looking uh, C++ example with all the right styles and colors available. Of course, the first time that uh, that I build it, it's going to build the pre-compiled header file, and it's going to compile the, the project, and then subsequent builds will be better. So here's now the green style, and I've got a button that I can click on, and I can hit uh, Alt F4 to quit. So again, Windows 8 style or Metropolis UI style are full screen applications, and we could add a, a toolbar if we want, and, and other things, but it'll convert all of the application to have that look. Now, same thing goes for FireMonkey applications. So if I say File New Fire Monkey Desktop Application C++ Builder, and I can choose uh, High Definition 2D or 3D as my default project type and form type. So now I've got a Fire Monkey application, and I can put a button on it. And why not put an edit box, for example, and some other things. I'm using ID Insight, so I'm hitting, uh, I'm hitting F6, or you could hold down the Control Period key. So here is a, you know, an edit box and a button, and let's put a list box as sort of the classic first application that uh, we usually build in demos. Over and the list box is here, and then we'll give that a, a text property and add and write an event handler for it by double clicking and say list box one, uh, it's items. We're going to uh, add uh, edit one uh, the text property of edit one. Right. Pretty straightforward. So that's a FireMonkey C plus plus example. Right, it runs, and we can style it and do things to it. So here, if I put things into the edit box, then they get a list box. We can convert this again to Metropolis UI if you want to. Just right mouse click and say convert to Metropolis UI. And again, it says, are you sure you want to proceed with the form conversion? Changes cannot be undone. I'll say yes. Now it comes up with a default style, which is the dark style or the black style. And we can go into the, we can go into the style system and we can make changes. Just bring up, uh, uh, edit and create a custom style and save it. And we have here all of the, different items that can appear uh, in our application and we can uh, change the style of any one of those and create a new style. Uh, you also can style the frame or and border and caption and buttons in the non-client areas like the close button. Uh, you can make that right now. It's just a button, but it could have a different look and feel. Uh, uh, and so all of those things, the title caption, uh, all of that can be, uh, so here's the title bar uh, and so on. You can control title bar style and toolbars and so on. So you can control everything in the user interface uh, using bitmap styles. So let's just run this example now. And it has that uh, Metropolis style. Let's change the font. This is uh, 42 and it adds itself and uh, hello world 
And again, when we're done, we can just uh, close the application. So if you have an existing FireMonkey C++ Builder, FireMonkey 1, or even FireMonkey 2, and you want to have a version of that project that has the Windows 8 style, maybe you have some customers or users that are, have upgraded to Windows 8, you can take that application. Now, remember, it's going to modify the form file, so you'll want to clone the project uh, directory and create a second project that you convert from. And then you can do a build of a of a traditional FireMonkey style, a Windows look file or a Macintosh look file. And you can also have a Windows 8 style. And all it is is you're setting the style. One other, and So you do that using the style book, and then you can go in and, and work with the style book and all the style setting. And each component uh, can have a style. So here's like the button style, but maybe you want some other style. The object inspector now, when you do the style lookup, will give you um, a view of the different choices. So here's all the different button styles that are defined. Document buttons, ellipse buttons, uh, edit buttons, and so on. So all of this is available, and you can see them in the object inspector. So you can just choose one that you like versus the standard one. So maybe I want a, a different kind of button, like an apply button, something like that. So now it's an apply button. So apply would, of course, still do the same thing underneath. It still goes to the event handler. So if I want that Windows 8 style, then maybe the apply button would uh, would be a better look than the text that says uh, add or add me, something like that. So all that is available as part of the Metropolis UI.